Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be another mixing video. I am doing a mixing video for the month of August and today I'm going to be mixing all of my neons from Be Me. So I've got their leaf gels. I've got nine colors in total. I've got the swatches here. So I've got nine of them that I am going to be mixing together. And as always, I'm going to create a design with whatever the color is that it turns out to be. Once I mix them all together, I'm going to create a design for you guys using that color. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And let's get started. guys so here are all nine of the neon colors that I've got from the Be Me leaf gels so I've got magenta candy raspberry flamingo limelight techno electro Miami and zest so I'm really excited to see what these all look like when I mix them together generally when we're mixing multiple colors we end up with like a mauve color I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time but it might so let's get into mixing the colors all right guys so I have my palette from um, Glitter Mix Canada and I have my little palette knife from eBay I have tried to find you guys a link to this exact one and I cannot find it anywhere so um, I'll see if I can find another one for you guys but just a palette knife like this is really nice because it has that bend it makes it so much easier to mix things and it was super cheap on eBay all right so as you guys know what I like to do is take each color and I just kind of draw an equal amount in a line and then I will mix them all together so I'm going to start by just opening them up and getting them onto the palette some of them might need to be mixed I'm going to get my little spatula so that I can grab the color and also mix them so this one needs to be mixed I haven't actually used these for a while when I first got these oh my goodness I used them so much like every client wanted them I want to go and purchase some more of their gels um, their leaf gels because they're so pretty and my friend Melissa at the turtle nail salon she has all of them I actually have one of them on my toes right now and it is called I think it's called blossom and it's like a um, light pink color and it is so 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 pretty so I just want to get some of those um, fall colors that they have I was looking at all of her swatches and oh my goodness they have so many beautiful colors you guys so many beautiful colors all right so let's get this one on as well I'm going to try to get as equal of amount of of amounts as possible um, it's easier to do it when you have a brush and a bottle when I do my mixing videos I just filmed the one for July so that one will have already gone up and I know it went up in August because I forgot to do it in July <laughs> I just forgot so I'm trying not to waste any of this because it is such good stuff I just did this whoa I just did this raspberry one on one of my clients just all that color and it was they were so nice oh look I have like an eyelash on my <laughs> hand this orange one too oh my goodness what is this one Miami or yes I know what is this one flamingo yes flamingo it's almost got a little bit of a pink pink hue to it like a corally orange I would say compared to zest all right and limelight oh this is probably my favorite one although you guys know I generally gravitate towards pinks th it, this is just it is so vibrant and pretty it is such a beautiful beautiful color I'm actually surprised that I haven't really I think my clients were just over it because they all when I first got these they all got basically got them on their nails <laughs> this one is techno they basically got them all or all of my clients got them got all of these and so I think they just they just were kind of over it but I know as soon as I get the fall ones my clients are gonna die they're gonna want them so bad there's like a dark kind of brownish one in there I had seen so I'm gonna be purchasing those soon 
If anybody has a coupon code for Beamy, let me know. Because <laughs> I would like to save a bit of money if I could when ordering them. And you guys know my favorite part of doing these videos is when I start to mix them and I kind of marble the colors together. It just always looks amazing. The one in July was probably my favorite because it just, it marbled all of the neons together and it looked so amazing. And I'm actually hoping because when I, when I did that video, if you haven't watched it, when I did that video, I kind of got an idea of a design that I wanted to do based off of how they marbled together. And I was like, oh my goodness, let me see if I can do this. And then I changed my mind because once I mixed the color um, and I mixed it with a little bit of white, it just created this, the most beautiful, like vintage dusty rose color. So I just decided to change it. So my hope for today is that whatever color this makes, I can somehow incorporate a neon kind of marbling because it was, oh, it was so pretty when I marbled those colors together. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this little thingy here. All right, you guys, this is the fun part when you start like marbling things together. Like, hello, sparkly goodness. This part over here looks phenomenal. All right, let's do the full mixy roux and see what happens. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous. I feel like it's gonna be orange or something. Oh, and I usually ask you guys to guess, what do you think it's gonna turn out to be? I always guess mauve because that's usually what it ends up being, but guess in the comment sections, section below and let me know what you think it's gonna be before I mix. I, f I don't know, you guys, it looks... <laughs> It always looks get it always has like an ugly phase where you're like it's not fully mixed but it's kind of mixed I don't even I don't even know what color you call I I don't even know like from one angle it looks pink and then when I like squish it up it looks like orange it's very weird <laughs> Super, super weird. But maybe it looks kind of, ooh, guys, it is so weird. I, I don't even, it's, uh, it looks peach, then it looks pink, then it looks orange, then it looks green. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to be interesting when I try to put it on a freaking nail. Okay, well, let me see when I put it on paper towel. Yeah, it's like peach, kinda, sorta, with green in it. Oh my goodness, it's, it's, I don't even know. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, and now I have to try to make a design with this. All right, let me put my thinking cap on and uh, come up with something that I can create for you guys. Okay, I, I still have no idea what I'm going to do, but the first thing I want to do is I am going to, I want to paint on a nail, on one of the nails first, because I really am having a hard time telling what kind of color this is on that palette. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's kind of like a, like a dark peachy color, so it's not mauve. <laughs> I'm shooketh. Okay, it's actually not that bad. It's it's actually not that bad. I, I don't think it's gonna work with like the neon color idea that I sort of had in the other um, video. So that ain't gonna happen, but it's a peachy color. So, okay, let me get that one nail. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna do two nails this color for sure. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to do for a design because you guys know, like, I have no idea <laughs> what design I'm going to do until I mix the color and then I come up with it on the spot. So I do actually do like it, you guys. I'm kind of shocked. I want to see what it looks like out of the light. So out of the light, it looks a lot darker, but it's not that bad. 
I think it would actually fare well with um, techno. Let me pull out techno, but I just did teal and kind of pink. So I don't want to do the same thing. They do look nice together. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of a peachy color. Okay, let me get this in the light and just, I need to think. I need to think on it. What am I going to do? Okay, you guys. So I decided I'm going to do it with like a denim -y kind of blue. So I pulled out Sapphire, which is also from Beamy. And it's a super cobalty blue. Like it's quite vibrant. And I'm thinking, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that. And then I'm going to mix it with, I don't have um, the Beamy Silver Leaf. I, I still have the Joann's number 10, which is the silver. So I'm going to um, use that just to kind of dilute that blue a little bit and tone it down maybe. Does that work? Mm, kind of, sort of, but not really. Okay, I want it to be more muted. Let me see what else I've got. I've got number nine, which is kind of a charcoal gray, number nine from Joann's. Maybe if I take a little bit of that blue and just mix it in there. Okay, I feel like we're getting there. And then maybe I'll take a little bit of techno and I'm trying to create more of like a denim type of a blue if that makes sense okay okay we're we're kind of there I think yeah I think that's more this is more gray but um, okay I'm gonna take a, a little bit more of this And a little bit more techno. Oh gosh, did I put too much techno and now it's green? Ugh, I think I might have put too much techno in there now. Okay, well, we're gonna just see what happens. If I don't like it on the nail, in conjunction with this one here from Madame Glam, which is called Vintage Blue, and it is like the it's a perfect denim blue. I really like it as a denim blue. Let me see. Let me just see how this mixed one looks first. Um, I'm gonna get a second coat onto these ones as well before I move on to that. And then we will see. Okay. Let me see what this looks like on. Well, it's a pretty color. I just don't know if it's denim-y enough, if that makes sense. Well, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay have to do two coats and get a good coverage okay I'm gonna get those into the light okay guys so I've also pulled out a couple of glitter mixes here um, this one it says BP I'm assuming that's born pretty and this one is from glitter mix Canada it's called antique rose 030 so I pulled those out and I also pulled out these um, decals. They're like a rose gold kind of copper color. I, I probably got these off of eBay. The number in the middle says 378. You could try to search that. I'll see if I can find it and link it for you guys below. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a second coat of the blue glittery color. And then also I'm going to get two coats of the vintage blue also on here. I do love this color. And it's so funny because the colors that I mixed together for July were all neon. 
And the colors, obviously, that I just mixed for you guys now are all neon, but they're creating very fall color designs. <laughs> because the colors are just making more fall kind of mixes, right? So yeah, these are definitely more fall designs, but fall is coming up. So this is perfect for that. If you guys are looking for some design ideas, I try not to do anything too difficult when I'm doing these. Um, first of all, because I don't want to be in here all day. <laughs> I'm going to get that into the light. Um, second of all, because I do like to give you guys um, design ideas that you could essentially implement um, at home or in your salon. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle out a little bit of each of these glitters, just a little bit, nothing too crazy, I don't need a lot. And I am going to re-tack up um, two of the glitter ones. Let's see, I'll just take this because I don't want to spill too much out. <laughs> and I feel like I probably would have spilt a lot more if I didn't just scoop it out with a palette knife. And then I just have this brush that is this the one brush that I always use to pick up chunky glitters and stuff I and like flakes. Um, it's just an old brush, but you can use whatever. Whatever you use. Okay, let me grab these. Okay, so I'm going to add just a thin sort of sticky wet layer here on this um, blue mixed one. And then I'm going to do the same on one of these peach ones. I'll just do this one here and I might switch them around depending on how the design looks once I'm finished. These actually look really nice together you guys. At first I was just so unsure about this like peach color, oh, so unsure. And I'm just gonna now take some of these, I just wanna remove this off of here because if I don't, I'll end up getting glitter on one of the other nails. So I'm just going to kind of wet my brush so that I can pick up some of these glitters and I'm just going to pat them into the nail, just sort of at an angle. I don't want to cover up all of that color because that color is actually very nice that I mixed there, that tealy, denimy blue. And I just like that it, this glitter just adds like another dimension because it's holographic. So I'm going to stick that back on there, grab the peach one and do the same thing. Just kind of grab some of those glitters some of those bigger chunkier ones also and I will have to put on a thick layer of gel um, because this is good these are gonna be poking out way too much so I just use my young nails gloss when I um, need to add like a thicker layer of gel let's see I'll grab another glitter and just stick it there all right, I think that is probably enough. Maybe one more bigger one. Try to get it there. Ooh, so pretty. Ooh, I love holographic stuff. Okay, so I've got that look right there. And then I'm just gonna get a second coat of the denim blue on these two. I would love to know in the comment section below if you guys are looking forward to fall nails. I, uh, I'm kind of not. I just love the bright colors and I don't know. I mean, I love, I like fall, but I love summer. Like I'm a summer person. Um, and although I really like fall clothing colors, like I don't generally wear super bright clothing colors, I don't know. I think I'm going to just miss doing like fun, bright, exciting nails when I start doing sort of neutrals and soft colors. Like, you know, it's just so much more muted, which is generally my style. 
<laughs> but as far as like doing them on clients, I do really enjoy doing like bright, vibrant. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're looking forward to start to start doing fall nails or if you're gonna miss summer nails like me. All right, guys. So next, I'm just going to apply some of these decals here. Where are my tweezers? And I think I'm just gonna go straight down the middle of maybe both of them, I'm thinking. Let me just see here. Let me go down the middle of this one. If I can get it in the middle. Okay. I'm digging that. just snip off the excess and I'll probably have just enough on the end here to do the other one this one should I do it across this way hmm what do I think or should we do them both the same Yeah, I think I'm gonna do them both the same. Will this fit perfectly? Yes, ma'am, it does. Okay, I'm just smoothing, smoothening that down. All right, very, very simple design. And I might actually like switch them up a little bit. So maybe do this one here and this one here. Yeah, I think I like that better. Like if I was doing these on a person, I would do the pinky and the ring, uh, the pinky and the thumb the same. Okay, so now I just need to top coat them. This is a very, very simple design, but super pretty. Let me get my Young Nails Gloss. And I'm going to do this set shiny. You guys know I've been doing a lot of matte. <laughs> but I'm going to do this set shiny. And where is my gloss? So I just have a little bit left in this jar. And it has some glitter in it. So I'm going to use that one so that I don't contaminate my new jar. See if I can get enough for both of these sparkly nails here. And if I have to go back in and file a little bit, I will do that as well. Okay, I'm going to get that one in. And then get some gloss on here. I'll have to file this one because there's kind of a chunk on the side there. Just flipping it upside down a little bit. And get that in the light as well. Okay, so the um, peach one I did have to file a little bit because there was a couple little bumps, but the blue one seems to be okay. And you guys know my favorite top coat is the Young Nail Stain Resistant for clients, but I do not like to use it in my tutorials because I hate wasting it. So Born Pretty actually recently sent me their top coat and it's actually really nice. So I'm just going to use that. Um, it's a very medium viscosity, I would say. Um, it's tack free. It's quite shiny. So... I probably would purchase this again to use for tutorials and stuff like that, but I'm not giving up my Young Nail Stain Resistant yet. I still love that one. It truly is a stain resistant. I have clients who will come in, I've said this before, with 
um, hair dye particularly, like all over their skin, their fingers, the underside of their nails, um, and the only thing that does not have hair dye on it is their nails because of the stain resistant. It really does work. So I'm just getting a good um, coat of top coat on. I am going to flip them upside down for a second before I stick them in the light um, just to make sure everything settles a little bit towards the center because the first one that I did is probably already rolling out to the sides and I'm going to get those in the light. I also quickly wanted to share with you guys, I've shared this before, but I had an old A6 binder and Talia had mentioned that she purchased some of these little plastic envelopes from Amazon. I'll put my link below for them as well. And they are perfect for holding like bigger items like these that maybe you don't want to put in like your deco books. I have some Mylar paper here. I have all sorts of shapes and chevron stickers and flames and butterflies and striping tape um, and I alternate the zippers so I don't know if you can see here some of the zippers are um, starting on this end and some of them are starting on that end and that way they lay flatter in the book so if you guys are looking for storage for a larger um, larger type of decals this is really an awesome awesome idea all right guys, so here is the finished design. It is a very simple design and obviously if you guys don't have a color like this or you're not mixing, you're not gonna have this exact color, but anything in the kind of dusty color or peachy color would definitely work, even if you just have a regular glitter and then something with like a denim -y sort of color. Definitely really, really nice for fall. This is probably one of the simplest ones that I've done for you guys, but I really, really like it. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I really liked how they turned out. They're super simple, but I think that a design like this would be very, very popular for the fall. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with someone else. And as always guys, have an amazing day.